Mark? Grayson, that was a nice plan today. You must be happy to be done after an awfully long day. Just uh, what did you do really well out there? Obviously, yeah, it, it was it was a long day, that's for sure. Um, you know, kind of got off to a slow start there, bogeyed I think number four, but uh, you know made a made some nice putts coming in on the on the front nine there, and uh, kind of got hot there. Then they called us off the course, but uh, came back out and continued to make some putts. So it was a good day. How difficult is it to do that when you have a delay that long to, you know? to keep that momentum going, I guess. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, you just can't think much about it. Uh, just, you know, try and come in and, and relax as much as possible and, uh, you know, just come back out and keep doing what you're doing. Of all the players out here, you're probably the one who didn't want that delay the most. Just a little bit more on that run you were on, and then you hear the horns. What's going through your mind? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I've been playing good all week. So uh, it's just one of those things where I could come in and try and relax and then try and, uh, you know, it was I think it was a five-hour delay. So uh, get some food and, and, you know, take a, I took like a 30-minute nap, so that was nice. <laughs> but, uh, you know, came back out and continued uh, kind of to stay hot there. Was this morning about as uh, gettable as the course has been all week? Really all day. I mean, there, once we came back out, I want to say for probably 30 minutes or so, it started blowing a little bit. But other than that, I mean, we played probably 16 holes. That was just absolutely perfect for golf. What was the, uh, the from the course standpoint this morning, what was it that was the kind of best about it? I mean, it just wasn't much wind. In the last couple of days, we've had a little bit of wind, and, uh, you know, the greens were soft, so it was, it was very gettable. Um, you know, I gave myself a lot of chances today, so that was that was huge for me. Scott's not done yet, but tomorrow, what's your mindset going into the final round? Yeah, I just go shoot as low as possible. Uh, just give myself as many looks as possible and hopefully see a few go in. How fun is it for you to be in this position, to be in your first year on tour, and you're looking up at the board here, and you're right there? Yeah, it's it's been uh, it's it's definitely great. Um, you know, it's been kind of a slow start to this year, I would say, but uh, you know, I'm finally right where I want to be. Good luck tomorrow. What Thank you. You know, Kev, I would just say like I've been playing good the last three or four weeks. Um, this week, I, I was able to get the putter hot this afternoon. I mean, you know, I've been hitting it really well and just continue to give myself chances and stay patient. Uh, working on my attitude a little bit, and I feel like that's that improved a lot this week as well. So, uh, you know, just go out tomorrow and keep doing what I'm doing. What about your Just trying to not get down on yourself. Uh, it's a frustrating game. It's a hard game. Um, it's, it can be, especially at times. But uh, you know, the last you know, I'd say in the middle of the stretch here of the season it was tough, but uh, starting to play really good again. So looking forward to you know the rest of the year. What's um? What would it mean to you to make the FedEx Cup playoffs? Uh, it would mean a lot. Uh, you know, that's I don't really expect anything else. So uh, you know, I expect a lot of myself, and you know, looking forward to kind of doing that in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, absolutely. It's been fun. It's been a grind, but uh, you know, every year when you're playing professional golf, it's always a grind. Yes, absolutely.